guys, it's Jen. Hope everyone's having a great weekend and Mother's Day so far. Um, I wanted to share some um, hauls I've gotten in the mail. So this first one is from a Facebook de-stash group. Um, I don't know, remember the prices, but they were relatively cheap. So I got this Prima stencil, which I thought was really cool, nice pattern. And then this Tim Holtz stencil I thought was kind of cool, the eye chart. Um, I think this was like $3, so you know, I love all my Tim Holtz stuff. Um, this niche, my mind's eye, it's like three banners. I believe this was only a dollar, it was super cheap, so I had to get that. I think this one was also, they had it for a dollar, and I thought that was kind of cool, the little um, arrow flags. This I just thought was cool, I like the banner and the clouds and everything like this, so um, did get that one. This uh, My Favorite Things Be Mine, I think this was only like three or four bucks, so I figured might as well get it, just thought it was cute to have something in my stash. And then if you bought something, you got like a free gift, so I got these Spellbinder dice. So that was all from one uh, D-Stash seller. And then another one, it was super cute, I bought this um, Tailored Expressions little beer uh, mug. And she sent it in, here's her, I guess, blog. So she was a seller on a Facebook group. But she sent it to me, this with this super cute little Lawn Fun card, which is super sweet of her, and I love it. So let me put this in my room with other little things I have. And then I placed an order from Sunny Studios. So they did send you me this little um, die that's like little raindrops, I guess it is. But I had picked up these little um, dew drops. They're in like rainbow colors. I just thought those were fun to play with. And then um, they sent me this little thank you card with a coupon code for 15% off my next order. And then I did pick up this because I didn't have this in my stash and I just thought this was really pretty. I love their um, layering stamps. So this is the um, Pretty Pumpkins and I did get the dies to go with that. And then I had ended up picking up this die. Um, I was going to get it from Jamie's shop, not too shabby shop, but she had uh, sold out of it. And I've seen some super cute cards with this, like making it like a fishbowl or making it like a pool or something. I don't know. I had an idea like that. So this is the Stitch Semi-Circle Dies, and this is from the new release, so that is why I went there to pick that up, because I saw some super cute um, things being made with that. And then from another, actually no, this is eBay. I got this all from an eBay seller. I think these were each $2.99 or $3.99, so these are the Impression Obsession Cover Card, and I love these background stamps for cards or mixed media, so I got this one that's a tree. These are shells. And then the maps. And then they had some of these quick cut styles, which were also, I think, between $2.99 and I think $5 was the most expensive. But these are the wave edges, so I thought these would be cool on some cards. That's what it looks like. Um, this ladder one I just thought would be cool maybe on like a slim line card kind of thing. I was thinking like using that and having like how they have the little Santa or something, I don't know. Or, you know, they have the little Green Farm Kids um, backs to it. I don't know. I just thought, and I was like, okay, it's a good deal. I'll get it. And then they had this Ghost Borders. And so this was super cheap, so I figured might as well get this because I love Halloween. And I think this would be cool on a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. And then the last one I got from this seller was this Starry Night one, which I thought would be cool because you could use this probably also on a slim line card. Or on, um, you know, any type of cards, really, or your scrapbook page for, like, the night. But we'll see how that looks. I know it says starry night, but they're just, like, kind of dots. So we'll see how it comes out once you cut it. And then this is also from a fit eBay seller. I've been really into these dilution stamps because I want to start doing the mixed media um, art journaling book things. And so I wanted to get this Merlady one um, to, like, you know, stamp and cut up and make your own little kind of creature thing. So picked up that. I do have some more coming on its way. And then I did place an order from the Sassy Club. Um, from their new, I placed uh, their new release. So this is the little postcard they send it with. And then the little thank you. And so this is one of the stamps. It is Island of Sass. So some of these um, go around the Animal Crossing, I believe. Um, 
you know, Nintendo game. So like this one is Animal Land. And I haven't played this game. I've heard a lot of reviews and great things about the game. Like people are, you know, it's sold out now and stuff at Target. Um, we did end up getting a Nintendo Switch during this whole pandemic. So um, I've been playing, I think, Luigi's Mansion or something. So maybe I'll have to get into this one the next, uh, when it comes around. And then this is, looks like the little Nintendo Switch. This is called Gameplay. Super fun. Um, this one is called Say Cheese. So it's a like Insta stack kind of camera. And then this is based off like Mulan, I believe. It is Cherry Blossom. And this one is Warrior Princess. Super cute stamps. I do love their, how their stamps um, are always just super fun and, you know, kind of go to something. And then I do have some orders from Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, so I'm not for sure which one is, you know, whichever one I place first. But... Here is her um, information. And then here's a little coupon code. Get $5 off uh, if you spend $20 and ends July 31st. So um, I think this was the free with 60. I was going to put, purchase this and, you know, had it in my cart. And then the next day she had this as the free with 60. So super happy. I love these rabbit hole design stamps. This is a caffeinated terrier. Just love how he's holding a little coffee. And then also from the Rabbit Hole Designs, I did pick up their new buggy for caffeine. So more um, little caffeine critters to go with my other little animals. So can't wait to play with those. And then I had also picked up the um, stencil, which I think it was called Broken Glass. So that I think will be fun. I picked up this Art Gone Wild stencil. It is the Brick Vortex 6x6 stencil. And I just thought it looked cool because on the screen it just looks like you're falling into this vortex kind of thing so I thought that might make some cool cards and then I picked up some more things from Sunny Studios new release um, I picked up the tool time I just thought this was cute for man masculine kind of cards and I got the dies to go with that and I did end up picking up the grad cat dies because I didn't pick this up in my last release I just figured it'd be easier to just cut out you know have the dies cut out the books and the cats and stuff like that than me having to do that and then I also picked up this Frilly Frames um, Herringbone. I've seen so many pretty cards with this on their new release, so I wanted to pick this up and said might as well get it before it runs out. And these are from previous releases. I just have always had them on my wish list and figured I might as well get them. So this is Banner Basics, and I just figured these would be perfect to stamp um, and have, like, sayings for cards. I do need to pick up the dies, so that way, you know, you can just put it wherever you want on the card, but figured for now, because I was already getting this die, and, you know, dies are expensive as they are, um, I'd just get the stamp for now. And then I did pick up this Seasonal Trees. This is an older set as well, but I figured with all the little critters and people that I've been getting that these would make some good scene cards. And then I picked up this, um, Heart String Borders. I just thought this was super cute. Um, just to have for some of the little people are saying, you know, critters for borders on my cards. And then the last, um, other order I have, I know I do have another order coming in the mail, so when that comes I will share that with you. Um, she brought back these Trinity stamps, um, acrylic coffee beans. These are how ya been. These are way bigger than I expected them to be. Um, I thought they were going to be a little bit smaller to use in shakers, but this would be really cool. Um, to put on some cards just on the outside. And then they come with these little brown hearts. So that is kind of cool. They are a little pricey. I think you only get this many. And then I think it was $4.99. But I did get two packs because I wanted to, since I have so many of those little caffeine critters, I would, um, you know, get them. And then I did pick up this Trinity Champagne Bubbles. So I thought those were really pretty. And then she brought back the Boba Anya. I wanted that and she had ran out last time. So I'm super happy she got that. I picked up the Let the Good Times Roll from Trinity Stamps Die. I did pick up the stamps from her in a previous video, so I thought I wanted to get the die just because it has the roller skates and it'd make it easier to cut out. Um, this she had ran out of, so I'm super happy she had brought it back. It's a Make a Spaceship. Since I got all those little other spaceship creatures, um, this would work perfect. And then she brought these two things back. This is the, I'm not for sure what the name is, but... Um, this one is Slim Life Series Wonky Stitch Wilderness, and this I think is like the grassy border. So she did bring those back, which I think she might have sold out now. And I did pick up the Whimsy Stamps um, Eggster Bunny Paper Pad. And then I did pick up these two things.